ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we're here today with Madison Gordon, one of our uh, referee supervisors here at BBO and Knox Branch. And Maddie has set aside some time this morning to catch up with us to tell us a little bit about her time um, at the branch and also um, her time as a supervisor. And just so everyone at home knows, Maddie's been hyperventilating for the last week about uh, having to come <laughs> to do this interview today. So um, <laughs> bear with her if, if she struggles with some of the questions because she's been a little bit nervous. Um, so Maddie, um, to kick off, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing while there's been no basketball? Um, well, I'm still working full time because somehow hairdressers are allowed to stay open. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Um, but other than that, I've just been relaxing, enjoying some time off, and um, yeah. Fantastic. Now, um, anybody who follows the Facebook page will know that you just celebrated eight years as a referee at VBO in Oxbridge. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey so far as a referee here? Um, well, I started out mainly because all well, my sister and my brother were refing, so I had to. Um, and I remember I started when I was 13 in the C grade course. Um, and I guess I never really thought I would ever be where I kind of am today, being the Monday night rostering supervisor. Um, being on you know, junior panel, big B, et cetera. Um, but yeah, it's been eight years. <laughs> Beautiful. And so what have you enjoyed the most about um, that journey? Um, probably just like meeting everyone along the way, especially being on the panel, you meet so many different people. Um, make like long life friends um, but just taking basketball out of the equation just the things you learn that you take into life as well like dealing with conflict um, I definitely take most of the things I learn um, into my because I manage the salon so I take most of the things I learned from basketball in, into that role as well. Cool. Like what? Um, oh, you know I work with 10 females so <laughs> it's not always easy um, everyone has different opinions on things, so just sometimes easing the fire in, in cool. different yeah, ways. Cool. Yeah. So what have you learned, um, so you've talked a little bit about, um, you know, getting onto the panels and um, what, what have you learned um, since getting onto the panels? Um, well, lots of stuff. Um, I think you learn um, I think you learn not to uh, take on everything everyone says. You take on what you need. Um, but I think you also um, learn lots of leadership because you'll work with people that you never really worked before, um, to which you then have to step up also if the game's just getting a bit out of control. Okay. So um, you recently went to um, the Ivor Burge Championships. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience there? Um, well, we were, IB was with the 20s Nationals, so um, there was a, there was quite a large group of us all going, but it was the most amazing experience I've ever had in my whole refing career um, to be able to go to something like that. Um, I just learnt so much. You just, um, again, with the relationships, you build relationships that you wouldn't, have known of because there's people from different states so you'd never ref with them on panels um but yeah it was the most amazing experience ever so how, how did you uh, so you talked before about and you can't always take on feedback from everybody um, and that sometimes you do get conflicting feedback um can you talk us about uh talk us through when you're at either verge how you improved game to game, and then what game did you end up with at the end of the, um, you know, at the end of the tournament? Yeah, um, game to game, they really just wanted us to um, be really professional and deal with um, the guys the same way that we would deal with any other age group. Um, so you know, if they were acting out, still dealt with it, and I think that's what like. Um, 
they really wanted us to implement. Um, so that was, it was challenging um, to try and be at the same, the same level the whole time. Um, I definitely had a few um, down games, uh, but it was just really important that after the post game, um, I stood up into the next one and just did the best that I could. Um, and I ended up with the women's gold medal match as referee. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so obviously after um, you go to an event like that, um, you, you know, you said it was one of the most amazing experiences. Uh, where to from here? What are your aspirations? Um, well, I would love to go to more. <laughs> so I'd love to, you know, maybe go to 14s next. I, yeah, I'm not going to put too much like pressure on it or anything, like whatever happens happens but um yeah I would love to keep going to nationals um it's only I only really did half a season in big B last season so well this will probably be our half season if we go back at all but maybe next year I might actually do a full season <laughs> yeah. um I'd love to actually yeah do a full season of that see how that goes um but yeah I'd, I'd love to be able to make like NBL one or something like that but I would also be happy just wrapping some good quality games off Big B too. Excellent. So we're obviously um, uh, really lucky to have you because you've had experience now at nationals. Um, you've refed on the junior panel. You've done um, some Big V. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, I guess, how long you've been a supervisor for and now more recently, you've stepped up into a more senior role doing the roster for uh, for the Monday night session. Yeah. Um, I think I've been doing Mondays for uh, about two years now. Um, only this last season was I roster. Um, but it, they're very different roles, that's <laughs> for sure. A um, lot more, obviously, responsibility with the roster. It took me a long time to get the hang of it. Um, I remember my first few were like three hours and I was ready to throw my laptop. <laughs> um, but yeah, as every everyone that I did got a little bit easier, you know, I, you know, I shaved 15 minutes off every time. Um, and just, you know, after the roster's completed, seeing it completed is like so rewarding. Um, and then obviously when the night arrives, just watching the games play out, um, you know the partnerships you just think of it as a whole completely different way as than just being a co you know um so yeah it's been amazing that's great to hear um <clears throat> so uh, as a supervisor um what are you looking to achieve what you know other than uh, getting the roster together every week what is it you're looking to achieve as a supervisor um, I would like to <laughs> probably achieve it in a reasonable hour, maybe not two hours anymore. <laughs> um, but um, I'm enjoying just doing Mondays. I think it's a um, it's not too big, it's not too small um, of a session. Um, I'm I think I'm just proud to have gotten into a roster um, position. To be honest with you, fantastic. And so the big, um, the big question that people at home have got for you is um, there's obviously Maddie Gordon, there's Brooke Gordon. You both supervise. <laughs> Who's the better supervisor and why? Um, me, probably obviously. because, obviously. Um, probably because, well. No, nah, um, don't worry. I won't, no. I won't put you under. I won't, I won't no. put you under. The I'm just the so good. one. I just love that you didn't mention my brother because no one knows him. He's like forgotten about now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, so I think um, in finishing, um, what messages have you got for the um, for the members at this time? Um, have you got any words of wisdom that you can pass on, maybe about your journey, or some things you guys can concentrate on when basketball's back? Um, I think just to use this time wisely, um, like have some rest. Um, it's obviously a stressful time for everyone. Um, but when we get back onto court, be ready because our supervisors are all itching to give out as much feedback as we can. We haven't been able to do anything for such a long time. Um, so just be prepared, um, bring your best game because so will we um, and just enjoy it. 
sensational. Well, Maddie, you've done a fantastic job. You can, you can stop stressing now. You can relax. <laughs> you've got through it and you've done a, you've done a fantastic job. So I hope Thanks. you have a great day and, um, and we look forward to seeing you back as a supervisor and a referee really, really soon. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel.